Emerging raise with pocket fives. Panyak calls with eight, seven suited in the cutoff. Bendinelli in the big blind with a seven suited. Gonna join the party quite reasonably. Bendinelli makes the best hand here with a pair of aces. like that is a bet from Demergian, and I don't think Bendinelli is going to just fold straight away. Probably check calling. Bendinelli does call here. Not much changed here on the turn. Bendinelli still with way the best of it. And it does look like we're going to see a second bet here out of Demergian. So this is a tough spot now for Bendinelli, right? I mean, if Demergian has the kind of hands he's saying he has, Bendinelli is in bad shape. But there are some hands that he could play this way that we are beating, right? King-Queen of Hearts, for example. Even a hand like Jack-Queen of Clubs, something like it. And wow, this is a nice call. Bendinelli calls pretty quickly here. Bendinelli gets in there pretty fast. I definitely like the shot clock Randcorp. I think it definitely helps move the game along here. An eight on the river changes nothing. Now Bendinelli has half pot size bet left. He's certainly gonna start at the check as he's gotten here. And now what will Demergian do? Wow, he's gonna put them all in. Wow! Interesting. So, he just puts them all in. Bet, bet, shove. And wow, this is a tough spot. Both the flush draws missed. Bendinelli is getting an amazing price. He's getting three to one. Does he win this pot 25% of the time? We can obviously see he wins this time. This is a tough spot though. If he finds this call, this would be an impressive, impressive call. But I, I just think he's getting too good of a price here. Definitely a time bank. This is a time bank spot, obviously. So I, I, I really think we have to call here. We've put so many chips in the pot. Right, like if we called on the turn, how do we fold now? The front, the flush draw missed on the flop. The flush draw missed on the turn. All the Broadway draws missed. We're getting three to one. Like that's the critical part of this. Do we win this hand a quarter of the time? And our opponent has a million chips. He can easily afford to be bluffing here. It's a weird, it's an unconventional Ooh, we put, okay, I thought that was a fold. Okay, his last time bank chip is in the middle. So he's got his last 30 seconds, 22 seconds left to think about this spot. Let's see if he can find the call. Time is ticking down. 14 seconds, 13 seconds. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Seven. No. Call. No. Two. One. Oh, no, not like this. <gasps> nice bluff by uh, the, the Canadian. Demergian obviously gets credit for finding a way to win that pot. <laughs> but, uh, wow, painful. If we're going to call the turn, know. how do we fold on the river banana? <laughs> His own is here with the honeys. Treated him well last time. Going to raise it up this time. To 350. Dumont out of the way with the three Dewey. Now to the big blind with the ace and deuce. Seems like a spot we can just call. 80 and 160. I mean, we could raise, make it like a million straight. 
Those are the two options I see. Raise and fold. He does decide to raise here. Mm. This is an okay play. A little bit bigger than it had to be, but it's okay. It's, it's fine. Unfortunately for Zhang, this is a bad time for him to get out of line here. And now back on Yazonis. Will he just call? You know how much you're playing? Uh, roughly four, five. <coughs> yeah, about five behind. One point nine. Wow, he's re-raising. <laughs> wow, he basically min raised back, because <laughs> Yazonis made it three fifty, and Zhang raised seven fifty more, and Yazonis made it eight hundred more. <laughs> he clicked it back. Oh yeah, you raise? No, I raise. The minimum amount plus fifty thousand. Suck it. And now if you're Zhang, this is a gross spot in tournament poker because he's getting four to one. Four to one. You could lay me four to one that I would transform into an elephant. And I'd be like, yeah, I mean, getting four to one, I mean, it could happen. So I guess. I'm all in. Oh, he's moved all in. Why? Why? And he's called. Well, didn't need to do that. I thought we were going to just call, maybe. Why do we have to move all in here? I mean, I understand he just thinks Yazonis is fucking around, but have we ever, ever seen Yazonis make a min re-raise like that pre-flop? I don't think we have. What would make us think that he is just messing around in this situation? I believed him. I mean, I know the cards, but I believed him. I think we should have just called the 800k more. We still had a lot of chips left, or just folded. Yeah. Also fine. Anyway, Zhang is a two to one dog here, and whoever wins this pot is going to be the chip leader. If Yazonis wins this, he'll have 14 million chips. Ooh, a flush draw here for Zhang, and his equity has risen a little bit. <laughs> the board is paired, which is slightly helpful to Yuzonis here. Turns him dead on an eight or a, well, not dead, I guess, but turns him dead on a queen. Can still make an ace also. That's his sister who bubbled this tournament on the rail, rooting for her brother here, but he is in bad shape. And now, just like that, he's a, oh, poker, poker, it's all skill. Start with the worst hand and go very much uphill. Oh man, you gotta feel for Yuzonis here. If he goes broke in this pot. Oh. I bet you the main commentary broadcast didn't give you as enlight enlightening commentary as I just gave you right there. Oh, Yazonis. Oh, you didn't deserve that, buddy. But right now, whoa. Yazonis here flops the joint. Shemian with an open and a straight draw. And Saleh, well, he's got a backdoor full house draw. Little piece for everybody. So Yazonis here flopped the joint, defended from the big blind, and he's going to just bet right out. He's really deep stacked against Shemian. Almost 100 blinds effective. And he just leads out four blinds. Perfect kind of hand to do it with. Definitely going to get action here from the Queen Jack. Right now, though, off to the turn. Shemian looking for an eight. A king would really be disastrous. An eight, Jazonis might be able to avoid putting some pain in. Instead... Banana on the river. Jazonis continues to have the nuts. Jazonis does fire out here on the turn. And now I wonder if Shemian's going to continue here. He's getting about two and a half to one. And he is going to call here. So Shemian's got to find a king or an eight. King would be insane. Eight. Would not be as big of a pot. Hmm, there's the eight. 
So Jazonas can't love that, but he doesn't realize just how bad that card is. He's like, oh, maybe we chop now, you know, it kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Uh-oh, big bet here. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub used, Mickey. Appreciate it a lot. So, Jazonis bets 725k here. Spoiler alert! Shemian's going to raise. This is, that f this is that time in poker that you just dream of. Oh! I have the stone nuts. And oh! My opponent has bet 20 big blinds into me. And oh! We're playing for almost a million dollars for first place. Wow, look at this time bank chip. Shemian wants to make it look like he could possibly somehow be thinking about raising with just a jack. He's just praying that Jazonis has a jack. And now I think he has to raise kind of small here. That's not a small raise. I was going to say, I think Ole has to raise kind of small here. But maybe not, actually. Because maybe he thinks... Maybe he thinks if he had a jack himself, he would raise bigger to try to push a jack to fold. Like maybe that's the story he's trying to sell, right? Whether he actually would or he wouldn't. I think Jonas is going to call here, by the way. I think I, I think that's what Shemian is going for. Like, he's trying to look like he's trying to muscle Jazonis off this pot. But he's made it so big that... I mean, 1.8 million. That's 45 big blinds. This pot is freaking enormous. 5 million chip pot. There's only, what, like 25 million chips in play? Like 20% of all the chips in the tournament are in this pot now. And if Jazonis calls, it's going to be like a 6 million chip pot. Let's recount this hand here. Shemian was the opener, I believe. Got one caller and then Jazonis. Jazonis bets out on the flop. Bets out again on the turn. And then on the river here, bets out huge and gets raised. There is nearly no chance. This is a time to use those time bank chips. Use use the time bank chip. I think it gets auto used at this point. So we have to ask ourselves, is there any chance that Chevy could be stone bluffing? No, there is basically no chance of that. Is there any chance that Chevy would raise with just a jack? So we're chopping. Sure, sure. There is a chance of that. Then you have to ask, how do we lose? What's the chance of us losing this pot? How does he have queen jack? Could he play queen jack? Wow, is that a fold? Wow, nice lay down. Holy moly, that is a, that is a sick fold. Uh, Jazonis with ace king here raises up with it. And Gurji, who has been pretty straightforward, picks the seven Dewey to re raise with. And let's see if Jazonis takes a page out of David Peter's book and just calls here. Gurji hasn't really re raised pre flop much at all at this final table. Remember, he did qualify on a $5. I don't know if it was the spin and go or a tournament on Poker Stars. But he qualified for five bucks. Now here he is, locked up 54,000 euros. Now he's re-raised Jazonis. Jazonis has been very aggressive, but looks like he's going to just call here. And wow. <laughs> that is, wow, hood is on. That's, this is getting serious, boys and girls. The hood, the hood is on. We got the seven Dewey and we're going to war. So, Giorgi... I mean, look, if you're going to re-raise the seven deuce, you're not going to check a lot of pots, a lot of, a lot of flops out of position, right? Like, <laughs> so I don't, I don't mind this bet, but we're kind of digging our own grave here, right? Like, I don't, I don't mind this decision, but like, we never had to do this. I wonder if this is like one of those like life experience things. Like, I'm going to try to win a pot with seven deuce at the final table. Like, he feels like he's free rolling, might as well go for it. And go for it, he has. 500k here. And now Jazonis could just call. Obviously, this is an amazing flop for him. Nut flush draw, gut shot. And he is going to call it here. And now it's just like, man, we just took a train. We just took a, a train to fuck city that we never had to get on, right? Like, we never, ever had to even play this pot. We could just fold. 
And even if you're like, hey, I want to pull off a big bluff at the final table, that's cool, but we didn't have to pick the seven deuce to do it. Out of the small blind, no less. Right? Like, we could have just waited for the button with, uh, you know, like, seven five suited or something to bluff with. So, now what do we do? I don't know. We're here we are in Fuck City, but if he shoves, Jazonas is not folding. And I think he'll feel pretty bad about it if he shoves and gets called here. And it's like, womp womp, seven deuce. Um, oh my god, he shoves. <laughs> I mean... Uh, this is just insanity. This is insanity. <gasps> I mean, so let's talk about this from Jazonis' point of view. gurji has been pretty tight, right? He really hasn't got out of line at this final table. He's re-raised. Wow. wow. Wow, he folds so quickly! What's one? Wow. What's one? Wow. I didn't even have a What's chance one? to analyze that hand What's on the turn. What's one? <laughs> is good for Patrick is like, don't touch me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow, what can you say? Oh, nice bluff. Christian. Wow. Christian. Wow, that is sick. That is sick. <laughs> this is respect. I mean, you have to have some boss. Thank you. Yeah, no kidding. Christian. Patrick gives this him respect for balls. sure. This is more than this balls. Is much more. This than is a little bit crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is, this <laughs> Holy shit! Wow, <laughs> that is just. We're not gonna see a bluff that sick the rest of the tournament. I I don't even understand what happened. I don't understand how he folded. <laughs> he's got he's got respect from the table at that point. That's for sure.